Imagine if we danced with earth, watched her trail, sun, and flowers, watched the storms and showers, too, the cracks in the earth, the screams of the waves. Know that she is not a force to exploit, but a being that is under no obligation to behave. Imagine if we lived alongside her, dined with her, admired her, saw her beauty and ferocity as not opposing, but composing someone, something, however you view it, worth preserving. But instead we subjugate cattle prods and electric fences, beaten down and ravaged, but by no means defenseless. Tell me, do you feel the heat rising? Can you hear the sea crying? spitting nothingness into the air that can render a city bare. Can you hear her tanks rumbling, grumbling, trumpeting, creating craters? Can you hear the screams of us, those of us breathing in the oxygen that feels her poison? And the sea stirred by her wrath. Can you see that the jilted bride is on the war path? is the future we're racing towards. A future that is harsh, a future that is unkind, a future where tensions are as high as the temperatures around us. How long will it take our society to mimic an iceberg and We're facing issues of inequality and oppression now. Could you imagine how drastically that would increase in our future? How are we supposed to equitably distribute our dwindling resources? How did we get here? We're told as children that not everything we do is a race, but what are we supposed to do now that our planet is racing towards its sixth mass extinction in its history? Are we expected to just sit patiently and watch it pass us by? Paradise and put up a parking lot with a pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot spot. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got to this far? We pay paradise and put up a parking lot. Ooh, bop, bop, bop. Ooh, bop, bop, bop. They took all the trees and put them in a tree museum. Charge the people a dollar and a half to sing. No, 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 don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got to live on. They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. Ooh, bop, bop, bop. Ooh, bop, bop, bop. Ooh, bop, bop, bop. Ooh, bop, bop, bop.
We have made great strides from California's pushback on emission standards to the reason we're here today, but there is much work to be done. Educating our next generation to be climate literate is an amazing and necessary task, but it can't end there. What if we push them to be climate creative? Climate creativity asks us to take a deeper look at the problem. It asks us to rethink our structural system that are inherently harming the earth because of the way they were designed. Climate creative students bring the necessary empathy, collaborative efforts, and imaginative minds needed to solve this climate issue. These qualities, teamed up with literacy, can make this next generation a force to be reckoned with. Don't care about spots on my apples, leave me the birds and the bees, please. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. They pay paradise and put up a parking. running to? Is there really any place left to run? And more importantly, why are we running away? It's time to go back. It's time to deconstruct and dismantle. It's time we look to the indigenous people who have been protecting and preserving the earth for thousands of years. Esteemed guests, please join me in welcoming Shumash Elder, an integral part of Channel Islands, Rodel Banuelos, and Channel Islands President Erica Beck. Haku, Haku, hello. I am honored to be on the land of the Tongva. 
I'd like to thank all for your continued dedication and support to climate change and the healing of Mother Earth. You may be aware that Channel Island sits on sacred Chumash land. Chumash legend says that the island of Limu became very overcrowded. And the Earth Mother Hutash decided to build a rainbow bridge to alleviate the overcrowding. She told the people, as you travel to the mainland, do not look down. You will become very dizzy and fall into the ocean and perish. Well, as the people started their way to the mainland, some of them did look down and they did fall into the ocean. But Hutash could not imagine her people perishing so as they hit the water, Hutash turns them into dolphins. The Alakoi, the dolphin, is the protector of Cal State Channel Islands. And also, it is the mascot that reminds us that we must take care of each other. We must embrace each other. We must work for the better good. Also, at Channel Islands, we have a sacred mountain, a sacred mountain that overlooks the university that protects us of Satwiwa, the bluffs, that reminds us of our shared connection and responsibility to watch over the land, the water, the winged ones, those who crawl the ground, the two-legged, everybody, all are respected and embraced. At Cal State Channel Islands, we are working to strengthen our connections with indigenous peoples, letting the Chumash values of stewardship, stewardship of the land and the waters and the creatures that inhabit them guide us toward advancing a more sustainable future. Our university community inches closer to this vision every day in actions big and small, from policy and practice to culture and civic engagement as we assume collective responsibility for the stewardship that has been entrusted to us by those who came before and is promised to those who have yet to arrive. Previous generations may have paved paradise and built a parking lot, but our students are asking us to become the climate creative leaders that we need to realize a more just and equitable future for us all. Take it away, DJ. It's time to change, cause now we know what we got won't last much more till it's gone. Everybody, sing along. It's time to change because now we know what we got won't last much more till it's gone. We'll save paradise and take down a parking lot. We'll save paradise and put up some solar plots. We'll save paradise with our creative thoughts. We'll save paradise leading with what we've got. Save paradise. 